Hey everyone, Kevin from mechanicaladvantage.com. I've been wanting to make this video for quite some time, ever since this feature was released in the August or September update. I don't remember exactly which update it came out in, but I've wanted to do this video ever since then. However, there was a little hiccup between the way that this feature worked in Mac and Windows. And when I record these videos, the computer I use is an iMac. And so I didn't want to record it until the issue was worked out. And I didn't want to explain the differences between the two. I just wanted to work the same between the two and it does now. And I found some time and I want to get through and do this video. This video is going to be around post-processing things in Fusion using the new method of NC programs. If you are a user that has gone up to your name in the upper right hand corner up here and then chosen preferences, and gone into the manufacturer area and unchecked or checked the option to use legacy post-processing, then this video isn't necessarily gonna to apply to you. However, just know eventually legacy post-processing will be removed from the program and the method you're going to have to use to post your programs is going to be what I'm going to show here in this video. The reason I wanted to make this video is I see a lot of people trying to use the newer method of post-processing like they use the legacy method of post-processing. And a lot of users were unhappy because under, you'll see it come up here in a little bit, there'll be an NC programs folder. They start to end up with 10, 20, 30 NC programs inside of their CAM file. Every time they post, and then they go back and tweak, they create a new NC program. And we'll see that that's not necessarily the case that you need to do. Uh, let's take a quick run through. This video is gonna really be to show how to do the cam on this part. It's gonna be showing the options for post-processing. And so that's why I've used this. You've already seen this file before, but it was done uh, and ready to go. And so it was just an easy file for me to demonstrate how this new post-processing method works. So I have a handle top set up that has some tool paths that cut the top side of the speed vice handle, pretty standard. Then I have a soft jaws uh, set up and a handle flip set up that does the opposite side. And when I originally ran this, I posted the handle top and the soft jaws as one NC program so that it would efficiently do the tool changes without repeating those tool changes front to back. And I did another program that was the handle top and the handle flip as one program so that it would bounce back and forth between those two positions. So again, I'll put a card to that video if you wanna go back and check out how you can do that. So I have handle top. What I'm gonna do is click on handle top and I'm gonna to go to the actions panel and I'm gonna choose post process. And the NC program dialog window is gonna come up. It's gonna remember the last post I used, which is the Sile X7 Siemens Sinumeric uh, post is what I use for my machine. It's going to give you the option to put a program name or number and also to change the file name. Now note, if I type in 1679, the file name is automatically going to update to that field. However, I can put a different name inside of the file name and that's gonna be what the actual NC file is going to be named on wherever you're exporting that file to. So some machine controls require a numeric only uh, characters for the name or number field. And then what used to happen is we'd hit okay, another dialog would pop up asking us where we wanted to save the file and what we wanted to name it. This just makes that process a little bit more efficient and allows you to do it in one spot. If we go through I've got the output folder specified where I want this program to go. So for me, I always post to my thumb drive and it remembers where that thumb drive is. I could always change the location, but that's where I'd want it to go. Uh, I can change any of these post properties and you can see that one of the defaults that was on was preload tool. My machine uses an umbrella style tool changer and the control seems to be smart enough to prevent me from doing this, but I wouldn't want to preload the tool because the tool being used in the machine needs to go back in the same place it came from. On a sidearm tool changer, the tool can go back anywhere inside of that tool changer. It's not, we can, we can preload the next tool in the middle of the program. If you have a 40 or 60 or 30 or 80 tool changer, you can get that done so you don't have to wait for it when it comes time to change the tool. I'll head over to the operations uh, tab up here. And you can see because I chose the handle top setup, all the operations that were included in that were also included. I could check or uncheck any of these. When I'm happy with my options, I'm gonna choose post. And when I do so, I get an NC program that now appears under my NC programs 
uh, header in the browser. This one is called NC Program 5 because I've made a few programs previously in this file before, so it just grabs the next one in the list. If it's the first time that you're doing it in your file, it's gonna show up as NC Program 1, and the name doesn't really matter. You can rename these uh, NC programs as well by slow double clicking on them and changing the file name that you want. So where is this beneficial? Let's say that I go to my 2D Adaptive and I right click on this toolpath and I edit it and I decide to go to my passes and instead of an optimal load of 0.2, I'd say I'd like an optimal load of 0.23. So I'm gonna enter in that 0.23 and I'll hit okay. Now you'll note that all the tool uh, paths after that start to regenerate based on that change, but the NC program I had previously created puts up a little uh, note that the NC code is now out of date. That toolpath has changed and it understands that. So what I see, typically see people do is they go to handle top, they go to the actions panel and choose post process and they create another NC program and pretty soon, like I said, they got 20, 30 NC programs filling up their browser and they're not super happy about it. But here's what you can do. This NC program is everything that I wanted to do. I just changed one of the tool paths inside of there. So rather than creating a new one, I can just right click on this and say post process. It's gonna overwrite the file based on the new changes that I made. It knows where to go, all the options I've already previously set. I can just say yes. And now that NC program is, has made all the changes that I wanted without any intervention from me and got the NC code generated for me so I can go to the machine and get this part cut. I can always create a new NC programs for different operations and things like that, but there's really no need to create new ones just for toolpath edits as you go through the list. Should you want to sort of make NC programs work a little bit more like the legacy method, because you don't like to have these NC programs showing up in your browser at all, there's an option for that too. So I'm gonna go back to the handle top and I'm gonna choose the post process option one more time. So I'll give this some number name, just give it some random number here. And all the rest of the settings are what I want. But what I'm gonna do is uncheck create and browser. So everything else is the same, but now when I post, you'll see it quickly appear and then disappear from the NC program. So it made the it made the, the NC file that I wanted, but it didn't create an NC program in my browser. So if you're absolutely dead set against having these NC programs created and you just want to do it each and every time, and you don't want all these created, you can just uncheck that box and Fusion won't create them. I think you'll like them once you know the method that these were intended to be used, like I showed, and that will save you a lot of time. You just re-export your code, no settings to change, makes it really fast and easy to get out to the machine and get your parts cut. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Love to get your feedback, like the emails that you guys sent me. I'm glad you're checking on the channel, and as always, thanks for watching.